Okay, I took a look at MTN's financial statement for 2021 and oh my, their obligation to electronic money holders, that is, the amount of money Momo users from just MTN keep on their mobile money accounts exceeded 8 billion Ghana C. That is almost 9 billion Ghana C. And that is just from MTN. And imagine there's Vodafone, there's Airtel. So telcos in Ghana have over 10 billion Ghana cities stored as deposits on their account. That is crazy. So I wasn't surprised when all the banks in Ghana came together to create Ghana Pay just so they could get their share of this huge sum of money. Hello guys, it's Kakoya and today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the new Ghana Pay here in Ghana. Let's get to the video. Ghana Pay is a mobile money service provided by banks in Ghana to individuals and businesses. It's like any mobile money service, but with additional banking services. Everyone with access to a mobile phone can register for a Ghana Pay wallet and it gives you the opportunity to have a direct relationship with a bank as a mobile money user. Users of Ghana Pay have access to unlimited banking services in addition to the existing mobile money services that they already have. Transfers on Ghana Pay are free. You don't even have to have accounts with any bank while setting up Ghana Pay. But during the setup, you have to choose one of the banks and the branches. I chose Access Bank, my branches at Odoko. This is to enable the bank take care of your money and also offer you some extra banking services depending on your bank. To register, all you need is your national ID card, that is your Ghana card, and you need a registered and active mobile phone number and your name, bio data, stuff like that. And also you need your local GPS location. After that, you can download the app from the Play Store or Apple Store or use the USSD code 707 to start up the registration process. When you successfully sign up, the landing page has the Ghana Paid logo, the bank you signed up with, your email and phone number. To access the features on the app, you need to tap the menu button on the top left where you find everything that you can do here, which includes send and receive money on Ghana Pay, other networks and bank accounts, cash in and cash outs buy airtime and data, generate a token, request a statement, make a complaint or send feedback, pay bills, value added services. To top up, you can use the web that is your internet banking from your bank or you can also use your bank's application or you can use the USSD code that I mentioned earlier that is the star 70 hash. Almost every bank here in Ghana has an internet banking service working or an application working so well so you shouldn't have any issue with that. So except for cash out services, all activities on Ghana Pay is free. That is, if you transfer money to other networks or to bank account, this is all free. The only charge you're going to incur is the e levy if your amount exceeds the 100 Ghana CD threshold. So that is really, really cool. You're not given any special Ghana Pay number. You can just use your existing active mobile phone number. And whilst you're sending money, you can just choose Ghana Pay as a network in the application. And that's all. You're good to go. Some of the advantages of using Ghana Pay include you can just sign up from the comfort of your home. All you need is your ID and some data and you're good to go. You don't incur any extra charges when sending money except the e-levy of course and you get some special bank benefits from your individual bank. So that is really cool. Also, you get some interest calculated on the monies that you've deposited on your Ghana Pay account. So I guess it's really cool. So some of the challenges I see this facing is that some people don't really like change. It might take a while for people to hop on this. but Analyzing it, I think it's kind of cool. For instance, when you're using Vodafone Network, which is one of the best right now, when you're sending money to almost any network, they don't charge you anything apart from the e-levy, which is cool. But when you're sending money to bank accounts, you actually incur some extra charges before the e-levy comes. So if this is promising that when you, even when you're sending money to bank accounts, you're not going to pay anything, or mobile networks, you're also not going to pay anything, plus you get some benefits and all this, and you only get charged the e-levy amount when it exceeds 100 Ghana CD. I think this application is really good and you don't even have to always use the application. You can use star 70 hash to do almost everything that you want to do. So in general, I think the Ghana Pay is cool, but it might take a while for everybody to hop on it. So if you've been thinking about hopping on this, this is everything you should know about the Ghana Pay application. If you have any questions at all, hit me up in the comment section. As I'm always spending time with you, I'll try my best to answer everything that I can. Thank you for spending time with me. And if you're new to the channel, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you get notified the next time that I upload a video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.